I do have a copy of the Australian Constitution that has created horrible genocidal laws for our people. And today we're going to put it on the fire and we're going to burn it and we're going to get rid of this bad book, bad book of laws, bad laws, not good. It's going to be burnt. We're going to start afresh with something better for all of our future. So if anyone wants to come around the fire and watch your constitution being burnt, please do so. All right, so what have we got here? A book of bad laws and here's the, yeah, look at that. Stolen our totems, crown law, get rid of it. Have a page. Yeah, anyone wants to chuck a page in the fire? Yeah, give me page 127. Yeah. <laughs> 127, I want. <laughs> Section 21. Section 127, where are you? I want that, put that there in there. Is it? Ah, you beat me to it. Do you want to tell us what it said? Section 127 states that we do not be a part of this constitution in Australia. Right. I'm going to throw in um, the page that relates to judicial powers and the courts. I think it's all shit, so I'm happy to go on. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone want to put some pages in? Yeah, I'm not great to solve the guinea page. Yeah, yeah, voila. All the way from far north Queensland. Goodbye, dirty old evil constitution. Yeah. See you later. Let's have a fresh start. No more. This is for you. Thank you, grandfather. Thank you, grandmothers. You want to know? You want me? I'm going to come see it. For the UN people. Yeah, you don't want it either? That's good. It's Aboriginal and non Aboriginal, and all the mobs, all the First Nations saying, nah. Don't work for any of us. Doesn't serve any of us. We're going to come under the umbrella of the On behalf of the Western Desert people, the Pindaby, the Madu people, who've all been cut right out of all of this, and also on behalf of myself. I was born in London and that British rule has been very destructive to my life and to all Australian people in the way it's been implemented. Yeah, I am... Um I know that, uh, I've learnt a lot being at the embassy, eh? and I know that L-O-R-E is longer than L-A-W, because that never changes. And the preservation of uh, the trees, the preservation of all the animals and birds of this land is priority to the First Peoples, First Nations people, and my people too. I'm from the land of the long white cloud, lie, sort of, yeah. And uh, yes, I'm honoured to um, add my uh, protest and join with others about this constitution. And as we stand here, eh, the mining companies are going for it. The mm. trees are getting um, the desecration of the sacred, the sacred sites of this land is being desecrated. So they talk one thing of hope of this constitution, but it's not hope at all. It's just another um, business contract that uh, we can't afford to be um, confused about because the future's not ours, not for all of us, eh? but it is for the children and for the trees. And um, I stand on uh, Nandamore country, but I just would like to pay my respects to the elders that I've met here at the embassy that have guided me through. Yeah. Oh, all right. 
everybody should walk away from this with the main feelings that I would get about healing, unity, and a new constitution to be rewritten when white and black people come together and unite. And that's where this new constitution is going to develop. See the unity of black and white Australians coming together and saying, right, let's get a constitution, let's get a new system in place here. That's not only good for Australia, but it'll set an example to the rest of the world. And it's based on the sovereignty of the First Nations. Yes. The oldest culture on this planet. And when we talk about the healing, we're talking about the education, the exposure of this culture, and also the first contact when black and whites, when Captain Cook arrived, that first contact has got to be put into the schools, into the curriculum, into the homes of, you know, on TV where people can understand. And once they see the past for what it is, then they can make a really good decision about the future. And that's what the healing's all about. Identifying your past, all the injustice, all that that happened, and being a part of that, and not knowing about it, but knowing about it is what gives you that hope, and what gives you that unity, and what will give us the strength to create a new constitution in this country, a new dreaming. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone, for coming.